Hey everybody, what's up? It's Haley here, and today is day four of the pumpkin challenge. We're making copycat Starbucks pumpkin bread. If you missed the last video, make sure you go watch that because it's a homemade pumpkin spice latte, which would go perfectly with this dessert. This is a super easy dessert. We're gonna combine all of the dry ingredients first. So I've got one and two thirds cups of flour or 200 grams, and then three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda and three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, then we have one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of cloves. And we are going to whisk that all together until it's nice and combined. Right, then over here in this bowl, I've got one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. We're gonna add a quarter cup of brown sugar and one cup of white sugar. Also gonna add half a cup of oil. I'm using avocado oil two eggs, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're gonna whisk that all together. So this is super easy. First you mix the dry ingredients, then you mix the wet ingredients, and then you combine the two. This is kind of like the muffin method for bread making. Then I'm gonna pour my dry ingredients into my wet ingredients and mix those together. But I might, I'm, I might start with like half just to mix that in first. And we're gonna fold this in. You wanna be gentle with this and not over mix it. And that's it, the batter is done. It looks so good. Um, and then I've got this low pan here. Ooh, need to be careful. I'm gonna grease it and pour this lovely batter in there. Now I have a particularly small loaf pan, so I'm always wary about whether things are going to fit or I'm going to overfill my pan and it's just going to explode. But for a normal size loaf pan, this should work. All right, then if you want to do the pumpkin seed topping that they do, you're going to need a quarter cup of the pepitas, which is these, these little pumpkin seeds. Um, you've never seen them before, they're green and they look like this. Yeah, just combine those with a little bit of honey and oil and then you've got a beautiful topping. Okay, it's ready to go in the oven. You're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake this for 50 to 60 minutes um, or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean or with moist crumbs. Okay, the pumpkin bread is out of the oven. It looks so good. And now it's time to cut into it. Whoa. Whoa! Oh my goodness. It looks so perfect. Ooh, it looks so good. Okay. Oh my gosh, it looks so soft. Hot, hot. Now ideally, you wanna cut your bread after it's completely cooled down. If you're like me and you don't have any patience, that's okay. You're just probably gonna get some weird looking slices. You get these little lines in your bread and it kind of looks all squished. It looks like it's not baked, but it's totally okay. It's just what happens when you cut your bread when it's too warm. Same with like even yeasted bread. Um, but it's gonna be fine. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Don't forget to have your slice of pumpkin bread with a nice cup of coffee. This is um, some cinnamon brown sugar coffee that I made myself. Ah, that is just so perfect. Just again, another fall comfort food. This is really delicious. Okay, we're picking the dessert for tomorrow's video. <laughs> Pumpkin overnight oats. That's interesting. I've I've never made those. I know they were like super popular on TikTok, so this will be a first for me. Anyway, thank you so much for baking me today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos. And I will see you next time. Bye!